The monarchy has marked our money for over 1,200 years. By 800 AD, coins regularly bore the names of kings for whom they were struck. Currently, there's around 29 billion coins in circulation in the UK. The portrait that sat in our pockets, purses and wallets is, of course, that of Queen Elizabeth II. The Royal Mint worked closely with the late Queen throughout her reign. They've documented her journey from new Queen to the UK's longest reigning monarch across five different coin portraits. What happens to that money? The Royal Mint issued a statement saying that coins bearing the image of the Queen remain legal tender and in circulation. The same is true for banknotes. Queen Elizabeth was actually the first monarch to feature on them. In our lifetime, but for as long as we're alive, we, we will continue to see coins featuring uh, Queen Elizabeth II. It's just that over the years, gradually we will see the new coins featuring Charles III creep in. But um, they will sit side by side um, and uh, you still continue to spend them. Over time, money and coins currently in circulation will be replaced with the depiction of the new king. The Royal Mint will be inviting uh, medalists, designers, uh, maybe a short list of three, four, five, we don't know at this point, uh, designers to um, come up with their version of Charles III's portrait. Ultimate winner will be picked. Uh, that final image will then obviously be presented to the king. He has ultimate veto. If he doesn't like his image, back to the drawing board. Traditionally, monarchs face the opposite way from their predecessor. As Queen Elizabeth II's father, George, had faced to the left, it was her turn to face to the right. Once the king approves his portrait, millions of pounds worth of new currency printed by the Royal Mint will be distributed across the UK. Rosie Wright, GB News.